Hello all, welcome to part 22 of API testing training series. In this session, I am going to explain about endpoint and base URL in a practical way and theoretical way at the same time. So let's get started. So what exactly is an endpoint and what exactly is a base URL? So these are the two terminologies that we generally use in real time guys. Okay, if you're working on API testing, okay, when you are hitting the API request in that API request in the entire API request, okay, we can break that entire API request, which looks like a URL into endpoint and base URL. Okay, two parts. So let me go into the details. API request can be broken down to, okay, API request can be broken down into two parts. That is one is base URL, other one is the endpoint. So you will understand this base URL and endpoint only with an practical example. Okay, theoretically, no one can understand. So let me go through a, uh, take you through a practical example here. So I'll take this website guys. Okay, I'll go to this website. Chris dot in. So this request dot in contains lot of okay lot of api examples okay so we have already used this in our previous uh, sessions of the same training series okay there are a lot of requests here you see this is one of the things this is another one another one another one lot of api requests are there okay but are they showing the entire url request here no if i have to see for example if i have to see the entire url request here api request that is happening here i have to click on this and you see here or else i'll open this in new tab Right click open a new tab. You see here this here we are getting the entire entire. I'll copy paste. And just uh, drag it here so that you can see this is the entire API request entire. API. This is the entire API request guys. So this entire API request. Okay, can be broken down into two parts. Okay, first one is the. From here to here. Okay, the, here to here. This is nothing but the server address. Server address. Okay, this is nothing but the server address, and you can also call it as a base URL. Okay, this you can call it as a base URL, and remaining portion, and remaining portion that you are seeing here, this area till here at the end, till the end, this is called as. Okay, what is this called as endpoint? This is called as endpoint. When developers provide you the documentation of APIs, okay, you see without developer providing you the API documentation, can the software tester start uh, testing the APIs? Not possible. But when the developers do that, they will not provide the entire API request. Okay, okay, developers are not going to provide you in real time. De developers are not going to provide you the entire API request. Why? Because this server address is not constant always. This server address keeps changing. If it is a QA environment, okay, there may be a different server address. Okay, this part may change for QA environment. If it is a beta environment or okay, alpha environment or uh, if it is a production environment, for everything, this part, this part which you are calling as a server address or base URL is gonna change. So developers while providing the API documentation, they will not provide this portion. This portion will not be provided in the documentation. Okay, so whatever the environment for which the server address is there, server URL is there, you have to know from the developers and append that with the endpoint and do the API testing. In the API documentation, only this endpoint will be provided. Okay, endpoint, then what, what is the method? Then what is the request, uh, input request, uh, response, re status code and all those things will be given to you, okay? But the server address will not be given to you in the API documentation, okay? I, I talked to you about the API documentation that developers provide in different ways, right? So for example, we'll, do, we'll go to this uh, request dot in, request, uh, dot in. <clears throat> here also, this is how you will get guys, okay? This is how you'll get a documentation. This is one example of a documentation that developers may provide to you. They have only provided the endpoint here, okay? Okay, they have not provided the entire API request. This is the entire API request. Okay, if you copy paste here, it will come with the protocol also. Protocol, server address, 
then we have this uh, remaining part as the end point okay this is the remaining part you see here this is the end point for this api request so only end point okay end point and uh, pro, uh, uh, expected response and uh, expert response everything will be given to you in some cases uh, you'll also be given with uh, end point so this uh, this part uh, that is request input okay that you can give from the body section and all some cases uh, different things guys okay so different things may may include the uh, input okay so different ways of input are there so whatever this is required this de developers will provide in the api document yeah? but here you have to understand that this part is called as a end point in the api documentation this end point will be provided to you instead they will not provide you the entire url like this okay don't expect the developers to provide this like this okay it's your duty to find out which environment you are testing whether it is a qa dev or production or whatever it is okay alpha beta whatever the environment you are testing based on that url will change for that server ad server address right so that server address you have to take this server address is called as along with the protocol is called as a base url remaining portion is called as the end point okay this is what changes guys okay if you clearly observe from this url to this url what is changing endpoint is changing you see here api users page 2 is there here api users 2 is there okay here api users 23 api api unknown okay then here api unknown 2 so endpoint is changing for each and every api request okay but this base url will be same based on the environment but if the environment changes from dev to qa or qa to any other uh, production environments or whatever it is this server address will change and base url will change hence developers generally don't document the base url in the given api documentation they will only provide you with the list of endpoints for each and every api and uh, whatever the request you have to send uh, input request input you have to send whatever the response you have to get whatever the necessary details they will provide but they will not provide you the base url bit because it keeps changing okay so hope guys you understood what exactly is an endpoint and base url in this session okay so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to explain another api testing concept for you till then see you bye bye